Hey internet strangers, today I am back with a little bit more of a free man star edge and today I have some bad news and a lot of good news. So I had to restart my entire game, I had to start over from the beginning because my save file got messed up due to a combination of I forgot to save my last play session and it did not actually remember my first play session correctly so I just went ahead and started over. And that is also the good news, because I no longer suck at this game, I'm actually kind of good at it now and know how to play and have some tips uh, given to me, so now that I'm better at it, I can accomplish more and um, I've already done a few things and I have some extra good news. Uh, let's drop down onto Daga. Daga? I can't pronounce any of these, I don't know how to say them. Alright, we're gonna land on the planet. I was really impressed with myself. The first thing I did in my new game, uh, while I was not recording, unfortunately, I went and... I, I'm sorry, but for a second I thought I saw the Canadian flag over there instead of the Doggin flag. Anyway, first thing I did was I went into space and I fought some bandits. There were seven of them in spaceships and I uh, took very little damage, I don't think I even lost any of my own ships, and we just destroyed them, and it was great. It felt so good. It was a great start. Alright, but here is the really good news. I am pumped about this, and I wanted to share this moment with you guys. I finally have enough credits to buy a rifle. I forget what kind of rifle it is, but it's mine. I went ahead and I cleared all these bandit camps using my epic squad over here. These guys are pretty cool. And my awesome pistol skills. Yes. And I, ha I just have so much stuff now. This is ridiculous. Alright. Don't need these things. Just sell those right away. Alright, I don't think I can buy the best. That's an SMG. I want, I think I want a rifle, but do I want the SMG? Who knows. Does he not have the rifle I've been saving up for? I think their inventory might actually change, because sometimes Karen is here, sometimes this guy is here. We might need to go to another planet, because I certainly can't afford that. Or I could get this SMG, but I, th I think I want an actual rifle. So I guess it's off to a different planet. Um, but yeah, I have I've gotten pretty good with the pistol. I think I'm level 12 now I Cleared a bunch of camps and kicked some ass and I am very satisfied with that And I have to say I've, I've talked to the um, community a little bit supporting this game and I've talked to the developers and um, I've watched some of their like developer interviews and They have really I think outdone themselves I want to leave the system. Where do I want to go? You know, I don't think I've been to this planet. Let's go way over here while I'm rambling on. Um, but as I was saying, they have really outdone themselves. I guess this game has been in development for about a year? I didn't realize that. I didn't realize it had only been a year. And while a year may sound like a while to some people, when you're developing a game of this scale, it, I mean, a year just goes by. It's amazing they have as much as they do. Um, I don't know if they've been creating all of their assets by hand in-house, or if they've been um, using pre-created assets from other people off of like the asset store, because I believe this is created in Unity. But however they've been doing it, we're going to avoid this guy. I don't want to embarrass myself after saying how awesome I was doing. Um, but however they've been doing it, even if you just eliminate the need for some art assets, the fact they have as much as they do in a year is very impressive to me because I've worked um, on <laughs> kind of on developing games, very hobbyist, with just a couple friends, and it, it's not easy, especially if you already have like a full-time job or other commitments. And they really only have I think three full-time developers and then some support and part-time work from community members. So it's really impressive what they have. Alright, 
Well, there's only one bandit camp here. That's surprising. All right, the town is this way. Could really go for that rifle. I've been saving up some points so I can put into rifle once I get it. In any case, the Kickstarter is, I think, gonna launch on October 3rd, I think. And I'll put links to everything in the description. Kickstarter, IndieDB, uh, their Thunderclap. I, I never heard of Thunderclap, actually, until I uh, found it for this project. I'm looking for the weapon salesman. Oh, he's way over there. Or she. Could be Karen. Nope, not Karen. It's Mr. Weapon Dealer. Alright, you better have the rifle I want. That's the one I can't afford. That's a plasma blaster. I wanted the, like, the long blast. Long blaster? Wow, this is... Man, I was so excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm finally gonna be able to afford the thing. I'm 400 short of this, and I think this is one that I uh, would have really liked. It takes HS rounds. I do have some of those. Do I even have the... I don't think I actually have, like, plasma cell. Laser energy cell, I think, is maybe what I needed for the gun that I want. Uh, but you know what? Let's go take down that bandit camp. And maybe we'll just go with that rifle. If I get enough from it. Alright, I'm a little short on these guys, but I don't want to purchase any more. And I mean, I did just brag about how awesome my pistol skills are, so let's see if I can live up to that. I'm going to tell them to move out. That's interesting. There you go. There's your line. Is everybody... Alright, everybody has a spot. We're good. And I should pay attention to where I'm going. It really was just night and day. Uh, the way I played last night to get to this point, I haven't died, I haven't had to use a whole lot of food, I'm already near the bandit camp. Of course, as I say that, I have a feeling I'm gonna get into trouble now that now that I'm actually on the mic and trying to not fail. But I think, I think the range on the pistol is absurd. I was just sniping guys with a pistol. Oh, there, there's a ton of them. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. This is not what I was expecting. Alright. Yep. Alright team, time to move up. One of the one of the people I got tips from, they mentioned moving your team up slowly, you know, bit by bit, um, kind of doing long range, which is a good idea. And this might be one of the more difficult bandit camps just based on the size of it and the fact it's the only one on this planet and it's Reavers. This guy's just not dying. Wow, look at this. He's only taking five damage and... Wow. He was he was heavy infantry. This is gonna be tough. I, I picked a bad... <laughs> a bad place to be.
I'm definitely a run and gun kind of player. Oh yeah, these guys are taking way more damage than the ones that, uh, Daga. I wish I had that rifle now. Let's give me tons of bread. Yeah, because these, these guys aren't even bandits, they are actually called Reavers, and they have a different relationship uh, than the bandits, which I have a very bad relationship with the bandits right now. Good experience. Should be close to leveling up. I can't see him very well, but I know he's there. You can see in my log how many times I've hit him and the little bit of damage it's doing. One of my one of my soldiers just died. Two of my soldiers just died. Not good. This is not good at all. Alright, one of them are one of the enemies are down. He's at less than half. He's gonna get me. I don't have any armor. Well, I guess I have a little bit. I have what I start with, but I haven't actually purchased any armor this time around. Alright. Got myself into guys. Alright, I got one. I would I would love to see this inventory system reworked. That is something I I just hope for. Not looking good, I only have three guys left. I hear gunshots from everywhere. That. They're taking so much damage. Or rather, they're taking a lot of hits, but I'm not dealing a lot of damage. You can want to hit them in the head. He is 
super tanky. What is he made out of? Okay, they got him. Is there someone over there? I keep seeing bullets coming from that direction. Right, I think he's down. Is there someone right behind here, though? Shoot fast enough. Alright, I got him. Who's left? I never thought I'd use this much food at once. I thought I was doing awesome. Alright, I know there's someone left. It would tell me if I cleared it. Oh, what's this? Alright, he's definitely hiding behind there. Hope they implement grenades, that would be cool. This is how I die. I got him. He's not the last one though. have left. What's the wrong button? Which direction are they shooting in? What is going on here? Bandits 1. I can see it in the top. Top right. Oh, he's over there. Oh no, he got him. I did not see quite where that bullet came from. They like to be sneaky. No, 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 you will die. I wish my soldiers would see him. I don't know how I'm able to see him, this is impressive. Might be the last of my soldiers. What are they doing? They're just standing there. Go on. Actually, see where he is now. Got him. We did it with a pistol and a handful of guys. This is good. Better make my money's worth though. I want to be able to buy a rifle and replace my soldiers. Might have to make a couple trips for this. All I wanted was a rifle. I'm sure I leveled up at least once from all that. Um, let's see, what do I want to improve? Alright, <clears throat> I already looted him. Got those. 
How much inventory space do I have? Not bad. I think I picked up one of those stripper outfits. This gun is just floating there. That's odd. It's moving with me. Well then. I think... I think after all this I should have enough to afford that rifle. I really hope I do. I'm not picking up a lot of food from this place though. But I guess food doesn't cost too much. Did I get all these guys? There's just so many people to loot. And can I get up there? I don't actually see a way to intentionally get up there, but it looks like I should be able to. Oh well. Is that it? Have I actually cleaned this place out? Well then. I think there's some, yeah, some of my guys that I can loot. As terrible as that may be. Well, now I'm out. I'm out of inventory. Might as well. Well, hopefully... Hopefully all these guys will still be here when I come back so I can finish looting. Hmm. What can I get rid of? Overkill. Don't really want to waste my healing items. Alright, so I'll just go on back. Which I think is this way? Yeah. How close am I to leveling up again? Not bad. If this isn't enough to buy the rifle, I don't know, I might just go check out another planet see what I can afford there. Maybe if I uh, land, or rather take off into space and then land again, this guy might change. I think that happens. I think they switch out, like, each load-in. Alright, tons of beer. They really like their booze. Dancer underwear, you know, I'll, I'll go for it. Although I should, I should check maybe what that looks like just for fun. Take that back. Will this be enough? Yes it will. I think it will. Yes, we have plenty. Vaser Vaserine? Okay. Alright. Wow, that's that was pretty good haul actually. I might even finish looting everything. Alright, so the weapon I wanted was I think this, um, since I can't find the long blaster. Just checking stats, making sure this is what I really want. Bullet speed 370. Alright, I'm gonna go with this one.
Wait, why do I have... That's a, that's a lot more than I... Oh, I picked up a bunch of credits from uh, downed enemies. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're gonna do that. And then I do have enough that I can probably afford um, at least a decent set of soldiers to accompany me. And there we have it. I now have a rifle. Aw oh, yeah, look at that. This is exciting stuff. Alright, I'm gonna finish looting, sell the things, buy some new soldiers, and then we're gonna test out this bad boy. Yes. And yes, this is my excited voice. Sounds a lot like my normal voice. So I notice when you pick up ammo, it doesn't immediately register that you have it. But if you press the reload button, it'll show up. Come on. Alright, Who, who's left? Sure I got this guy. No? Okay. Oh, I remember killing some over here. More of the floating guns. That, that is strange. Yes. Okay. Well, I think I've got everything now. Actually, I might have missed this guy. Alright, now I have everything. I'm convinced. Now, out of curiosity, this does 56 damage and does 8 rounds per second. This one does 24 damage and does 4 rounds per second. So that should be a pretty nice increase, especially if I'm not going against more of those Reavers. They were pretty tough. Those are ruins. I don't think there's anyone over there. I'm actually trying to get back to the town, but I guess I'll take a look. It would be nice if there was something to find here. I don't really see anything. Tempted to buy some fancy new armor. sell some of my extra ammo that I don't have weapons for yet. It takes up a lot of inventory space. I'm gonna sell some of my pistol ammo because inventory. That, that puts me in a good spot I think. I have some food. I have some funds. I should be able to afford... not that. A little something. What do I have currently? I think this is what I have currently. Armor 5. 9, 8, 
That's tempting. Yeah. First, what does this look like? Oh, very, very nice. Yep. It's fun. Too bad there's not like a dance emote that I'm aware of. Ah, very protective armor. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not much better than the stripper outfit. I'm sorry, the, the dancer underwear. But at least it has 12 defense. Mm hmm. Man, these sell for crap. Be nice if I have, like, at some point get a storage unit, have a house. Well, might as well sell it. I think that's all I can afford. Alright, I now have another set of mercenaries. I have a rifle. I have some fancy new armor. Huh, you know? That's fun. I don't think they've developed, um, or created rather, a separate view for the hands when you're wearing different armor because this armor doesn't actually have gloves. I think they probably just have a generic set of first-person hands, regardless of what you're wearing, so eh. And I would use the third-person view more often, but uh, I don't know, it's, it's a little buggy right now. You can't really actually perform your jump animation or go prone and stuff like that. They haven't implemented that yet, that's a known issue. And I prefer aiming in first person, it just feels a lot easier. Alright, let's go take on these bandits. Although, I wonder if I can lose actual items like armor and my rifle. That would be really disappointing if I end up losing and then my rifle's gone. I only have one person in my fleet. Interesting. I thought I had more than that. Hey, come back. Come back. Yeah, you just wiggle around right there. Alright, so the X key. X is how you use your missiles once you lock on. Pirate light fighter. Alright, I should be able to do this. I'm still not the best at piloting. So let's try and get a lock on someone. It's very um, finicky. Come on, lock on. He's isolated, so that works out. And I guess I'll come back for the loot. <laughs> Don't want to get too distracted. Alright. Not so bad. just won't hold still. Oh, well, I tried to send my missile after him, but he was already gone. Alright, I'm not sure if there's any left. I don't see them. Oh, 
There's a couple. Come on, come on. Hold still. This is some intense action. There we go. There's my missile. It's spiraling after it. Come on. All right. Direct it. I think that's just scrap that I can't really pick up. All right, there's one more, unless my fighter got him. Where are you guys? See, I have my fighter on the run. Got him. Those missiles sure are handy. Where's the rest of the loot? It's kind of hard to find afterwards. I don't know, I think the first couple space battles I tried to get into, I just, uh, just I would just get blown up so quickly. I don't know if I was just approaching it wrong, or if you're screwed without having any allies, because then they just focus on you the entire time. I don't know. But these past couple times I've had at least one one uh, ally with me and I've been doing alright. I don't really see anything else, but it is a 3D space, so it's probably easy to miss something. Okay. Where'd the exit go? Well, never getting out of here. There it is. Wow. This is why it's important to have a frame of reference. Or a point of reference, rather. Alright, picked up a few things I can sell. Where do I want to go now? This came from there. I haven't been to Moondown. Let's go to Moondown. Maybe there'll be some bandits there. Yep. Slow and steady. I haven't tried attacking any of the actual factions yet, just the bandits and reavers. I feel like going after a city would be a little, um, dangerous, crazy. Loading. Well, this is different. This is an actual city. No one can see me. Huh, I should have just come here first. So there's this cool city, and I am more interested in stealing from these crates in probably the most boring part of the city because things are expensive and no one is here to witness me do it. So this is how you make it early game money. Any other crates? got on the map. Oh, this is a very small map. This is just a little city area. Man, I have this, this rifle and there's nothing to shoot, as far as I can tell. This is nifty. It's 
like a fancy blue alien palm tree. Some cool signs. This is this is really neat. They have like one programmer, um, one primary artist, and a community manager, and they've been doing all of this, most of this. I don't know. Like something I've been wanting to do is just take a moment to appreciate um, just how much they have already created in assets and like little personality. If you just look around at the city, it's a good example. They have created something here like it's, it's actually good and they have different armor sets and they have idle animations and you know you can watch the soldiers when you're fighting and they go prone and they crouch and they try to use tactics and you know when you're in the the system screen and you go to a planet or you talk to a bandit they have like a little portrait and that portrait is actually moving It just looks so cool. Alright, well, let's take a look. I think, is everything in the club? No, there's, there's other stuff, but let's take a look at the club. Moon Down Bar. <laughs> they loaded in naked at first. Oh, this is like an actual person. He has a name and he's not Karen. Hi, my name is Dylan. What can I do for you? Can you tell me about this place? He cannot. How is life here? There is no life here. How about some rumors? Apparently there's also no rumors, no gossip, which is just... no. Humanity has not evolved past gossip and it never will. You can try to visit bars to find jobs. He actually has an answer for that, but I don't think they have jobs actually implemented, um, so it doesn't really matter. Bartender, can't talk to them. Don't want to accidentally steal their stuff. Brandon. So he has, um, I think all of the same dialogue options, except his name is different. So they have the, the bare bones working for that. I assume they'll implement that eventually. I know with their Kickstarter coming up, they've been busy getting that squared away, so they haven't actually, um, I think, had as much time as they want to develop, and will probably be pushed back until like end of October, I think was maybe the idea for the next update. Don't, don't take that as word, that's exactly how it's gonna go, I'm just speculating. Now I'm gonna look at this and they're probably gonna have cool rifles that I want. The long blaster. See, they have the long blaster. But now that I look at it, um, it's just not as good. It has more armor piercing, maybe a little less recoil, less fire rate, I don't know, it's just less, lower fire rate. I think I'm happy with the rifle I picked. I wouldn't know though because I haven't had a chance to use it yet. all this. Ruby, that sells for quite a bit. So between the, the space battle and the stuff I just stole from them, I actually have quite a bit. It's another 800. I could go ahead and buy some more armor, which I think is what I'll do, and then I will go, I guess, to um, Ma is it Meadow? Meadow? Excuse me, ladies, I'm just looking around. Oh, look, another one. Her feet are in the ground. Gaston. Yes. Ooh, Ooh that, is, that is worth 400. Just leaving a necklace around here, but five people can see me, so I'm not gonna do it. Oh, look, they even have little restrooms. Man, your knees would be really up against the wall here. I like the style. I would go to that club. I really... I probably would. Unless I felt like they weren't being treated right. Disco party? Let's 
It's a regular merchant. There was an armor. Was the armor merchant in the... They're up here. Found him. Kind of. What does that say? Implants. Uh -huh. Yes. This does give me a bit of a um, cross between like Firefly and Shadowrun. Kind of in terms of like the setting and all the, the craziness. Hey look, it's Karen. Karen also sells armor. Alright, well I already bought chest armor. I'm not gonna buy any more of that. I don't know if there's a helmet I can afford here aside from that. Well then. Don't really need a desert mask. I prefer something a little bit better. So away we go. Away we go to check out the rifle. Actually, I'm gonna go to this one. Anta. Anta. That one. Should be pretty easy to take out some of the bandits there. Hopefully, I don't get intercepted by this guy. I mean, I could take him. No problem. To the town we go. Actually, I can live without armor for a little bit. I might get some money from this and then be able to afford better armor. So there we go. Alright, we're gonna send them straight in pretty close. I have faith in our abilities. Oh, there they are. A second look like they didn't spawn. I'm looking at the sky because at one point when I was playing some of them spawned in the sky. What are, you, what are we already shooting at? No, don't waste any time. Whatever. Alright, rifle, let's go. Time for war. Ooh, that has some punch to it. I like it. Come on. There we go. Okay, killed one already. And I have 30 rounds per clip. Alright, well I did not hit him at all. It's a bit of recoil. to see things and sometimes I accidentally am shooting two bullets at once when I'm trying to just do single round. Might have oh <laughs> crap. I need to spend my points. It's like man, my aim is awful. Get the dirt. Alright, rifle. If I could just spend them all in one go, that'd be great. My uh, soldiers are gonna do all the work for me by the time I finish spending these points. Alright, there we go. So now if I didn't just Break the game with that rapid point spending. I should have a little bit better aim, maybe some less recoil. Is he already dead? Oh, 
the door. I remember this. I remember doing this in this location. His, his face looks disturbingly real. Okay. He, he is still alive. Is he just shooting through this dead body? This last guy hiding. Oh, I hear you loading over here. No? Where are you? Even here. This is impressive. I haven't cleared it yet, so he has to be around here. Unless I missed the clear. No, there's, there's still one. I see it in the corner. Where are they shooting? I mean, I'm, I'm not even afraid. I'll just run up and... What? Where are you? Come out. I saw it. There he is. Nice shot, guys. You did what I could not. So I finally have this rifle. Um, and it does more damage. Sure, it's a little harder to hit with, though. I mean, I put quite a few points in there. Oh, he's, he's alive. He's one of mine. But it just... Seemed like I was struggling quite a bit just to actually hit anything. I'm sure with a little practice I'll be doing better. Alright, I'm just gonna loot the bodies for now. Go ahead and sell the items that I get from it, and then buy some armor, and I think I'll stop there. Um, I did accomplish what I wanted to, and that was... I already looted him. That was just getting my rifle and testing it out. It took a little more than I thought it would because I could not find the rifle I intended to buy at first, but I did get a better deal out of it. I think. And I should have enough credits for at least a decent-ish helmet, if I can find one. No, he's empty. Did I get everyone? Come back and I'll loot this place. All right, will it be Karen? Ah, oh, there. Okay. 
guess I can't talk to them from behind. Or maybe... Oh, that's interesting. Did they just... Wait a second. Did they just push... Push him away? Like, were they pathing through this area and then just push against him and moved him out from under his icon? Interesting. Alright, let's sell all of our junk. So many pistol rounds. So many. Alright, that's reasonable, I think. I guess I'll get rid of one of those. Well, that's not as much as I was hoping for, but I'll take it. Alright, we can get a metal face mask, which would be stylish. Might be... That might be all we can afford. What is this? Celestra dancer outfit. Very fun. I would, I would enjoy having one of these. I'm not sure I like this style of helmet in terms of aesthetics. So yeah, we'll go with this one. And then after I loot that place again, I'll have enough for most, more soldiers and have a little army. I'll be able to conquer anything that doesn't have more soldiers than me. Yeah. <laughs> that looks great. Yep. Very menacing. Alright. I have fancy new armor. I have an awesome rifle. I have more skills than I did before. And, um... Yeah. So far, so good. I think... I think this will actually legitimately be my last Let's Play for a while. There's some other games I've been wanting to try. Uh, might get around to them tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but for now, again, I strongly recommend checking this out while there's a free alpha available. I don't know what they plan to do after they start their um, Kickstarter. But it is definitely worth checking out. I've gotten three nice, uh, four, actually four play sessions out of it and have really enjoyed it so far. Um, you know, there's already so much depth, and I expect so much more just based on what I've seen from the developers in the community. So hopefully you guys can get behind it. I honestly believe they'll actually go somewhere with this game. I would hate to see it uh, get abandoned or fail, and I, I don't think that's going to happen here. Um, but you know, you, as a small development team, you need the support of the community. And you need to know that there are people who are interested, and are going to actually purchase the game on release, you know, especially as indie developers. And that's that's what KK Game Studio is. They are indie developers, small team. Every little bit counts. Go ahead and leave a comment on their IndieDB, check out their Kickstarter page, check out Thunderclap, spread the word. Uh, if you like this game, support it, give it some love. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time on some other indie random game that I find. See you then. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it.